what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel this is sawyer custom slots and trains and we've got another unboxing for you guys i figured i'd do a quick little walkthrough it's been a little while a bunch of stuff has changed i had to build a new fish rack so i incorporated train tracks and slot cars into the design of the fish rack that way we can start laying stuff out and have some kind of cool setup by the time everything's done but today we've got a hell of an unboxing going on. It was a good eBay find. Cheap box with a whole bunch of stuff. Last couple of orders that I got in were packed horribly. This thing was packed extremely well. I have gotten a couple of different shipments in and didn't do any unboxings. They weren't really anything special or really big. So I figured I would do a will they run afterwards. Not quite sure what that was. I thought it might be a track cleaner. If you know, let me know down in the comments below. And let's get to the unboxing. First, we've got some buildings, a little gas station. Kind of neat. The floor's a little bit twisted on it, but it can be fixed. Got to glue the awning up anyways. And yes, this is what happens when guys get older. We just regress back to kids. I had trains and slot cars growing up. Now that the kids are grown and gone, I can afford to have trains and slot cars again. Ironically, I've got a fish room because I breed fish, so I turned that into the slot car and train area also. So we'll be building all that together. We'll be posting up the videos and stuff, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. Like these videos, comments, comments are always welcome. I don't know the names of most of these things. I don't know a lot about brands. I don't know a lot about a lot of this stuff. So it's all a big learning curve and it's a lot of fun. And it's something really neat and harmless to collect. It doesn't take up a lot of, well, it takes up a whole lot of room, but it's not really, really expensive. It can be like any collection. At the same time, when you go on eBay or Amazon or any of those things and just buy used lots, it's kind of like a grab bag full of all kinds of neat history. You get all kinds of different years of cars and trains and pieces, parts and tracks. And yes, the modern stuff is the newest, the biggest, the baddest, but the vintage stuff is really, really neat too. They don't make stuff like this anymore. I don't have this car I do now that's the other thing about the lots sometimes you get a lot of repeat cars so you could have trains that have the same car like I've got three of these now and then you can have trains that have all kinds of different cars so we, we're gonna be setting up all kinds of different runs and turn around and start doing live streams we'll start setting up the tracks on the floor setting up the tracks on the upper shelves above the fish tanks Yep, this is going to be a lot of fun, a lot of progress. Join in, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, let these videos get out to as many people as we can, get a community going. Really appreciate those guys that have already subscribed and the interactions that we get in the videos. Keep it up. Really, really appreciated. You never know what's going to be showing up on this channel. The, the lots and the finds that are on these auction websites plus the local hobby shops yep <clears throat> lots of will it runs lots of how how are we going to make it run because some of these train engines that we've got they don't work we've got to make them work i've got one that runs backwards haven't quite figured that one out i think it's just wired backwards we'll get to it and we'll get it all figured out together these unboxings are kind of neat this is broke but so that's got to be fixed also but these unboxings are neat because you get to see all kinds of different things that have been made throughout the past. And when I get new stuff, we'll get to see new stuff. All the hobby pieces like grass and felt when we make the layouts. How to glue it all down. I'm going to have one heck of a Burlington Northern train set up. We got a lot of green cars. And I think four engines. So, there you go. Unboxings, builds, fixes, live streams, 
all kinds of fun stuff. Channel's going to be growing. Channel's going to be going. Join in the fun with me. Let's go on a journey. As you saw, we just got a steam locomotive, and it looked like a passenger car locomotive. I'm not quite sure what these things are. If you guys know down in the comments below, let me know. I think this is a bag of, like, train lifters and risers and bridges for the tracks. Like I said, this is all kind of new, kind of old. Did it when I was a kid, but I'm not going to remember something from 40 years ago. That's for sure. Heck, I have a hard time remembering something from yesterday. That, that old age syndrome. And I'm not even 50 yet. We got two power boxes. These power boxes are really handy. I'm learning that because it seems like the power only goes so far on these tracks. So the more power boxes you got, the more track you can use. Now, inside the box, I'm not going to pull it out, but we've got corner tracks, straight tracks, switch tracks, all kinds of neat stuff. Now, here's a, not really a layout, but I set the buildings up above the fish tank. Where this is where the main switching area is going to be. I'm going to have probably about four or five, if not six or seven lanes for train cars to sit on so that we can pull in and grab a set and go. The new cars are on their respectable spots. This shelf will be coming down. We'll be putting the box cars up, having them all lined up so we can see the sides of them. Because right now you can't really see the sides of them and the fronts are just kind of bleh. My caboose collection. Everybody's got to have a caboose collection. Do you have a caboose collection? All right, we're rolling up in the end of this video. I really appreciate the watch time, the views. Don't forget, hit that like button if you haven't already. Throw a comment down in there. Help me out with the identification of these different things. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.